So here we are in the computer section of Walmart. Anyway, wanted to do a quick little overview of what they have to offer. Go item by item here in the laptop section. So first off, never buy a stream or a Chromebook. They don't even have hard drives. And this thing is so underpowered for 219. Um, much better to buy something used for a little bit more. This is also very similar to that. Um, 64 gig SSD, that's not so bad. For 379, it's a little bit pricey. And we're getting into a lot better machine here. i3, 8 gigs RAM, 128 SSD. You know, 600 bucks. And 249 for an HP 15. So this one is, you know, really, this is like a decent budget machine. I mean, if you're, if you need a decent screen and all you're going to do is watch YouTube and stuff, this doesn't look so bad. And this one here is a little bit better. It's almost the exact same thing as that, just as the Pentium versus the um, Celeron. So it's probably 20% faster. And this one's an i3, so going to be about twice as fast as that Pentium was. Terabyte hard drive. For 314, this is actually a pretty good deal. You know, it's 15 bucks more than that, and it's a much better, I mean, I think it's a much better machine. That right there is probably the best value so far. Here we go. And this one here off the top of my head, this is a, about the same as that Lenovo for a whole bunch more money. I, I would definitely get that Lenovo any day of the week over that one. Um, some HPs, let's see, A10, wow, that's not going to be very fast. Um, if, you're, if you're playing some entry-level games, the A10 has a decent GPU, so you might be able to play a little bit of stuff on that. And what do we got over here? So this one's a true i7. And it says i5 here, but the sticker says i7, that's weird. You always get all the missing keys here at Walmart. I don't know why people take keys. That's really rude. Never take other people's property. So, for a little bit more money, you get this car, this one here. Now, that one's seven ninety nine. This one's eight twenty nine. And oh my gosh, this one's like gonna play games five, six times as good. Um, it only has a, it does not have an SSD. I don't know why they haven't embraced SSDs, but you know, I love the green. That's really nice. So for me. This would probably be one of the, you know, if you're going to have to buy a Walmart computer, you know, this one's not so bad. Of course, there are better deals to be had at other stores, um, but for a Walmart computer, that's not so bad. And uh, Dell G5. So this one here um, definitely has a better processor. It does have the 128 SSD, so that's a, a good step up. <laughs> Let's see. That's about the only differences. <coughs> of course, it's, um, you know, 300 bucks more. And this one made by Omen. HP is a, a 1060, so that's actually pretty nice. 256 SSD. So, for 1259, I mean, if you look online, you can get computers with these specs for probably $300 less, brand new. Um, you could buy it from us, or you could buy it from a multitude of websites. And then this web, this one here, MSI, always one of my favorite brands. Um, this one's crazy, has RGB. It still has the 1060, the i7. There's really almost no difference between these two computers. They have the exact same processor. They have the exact same RAM. They have the exact same hard drive configuration. They have the exact same GPU. Um, Basically, one is HP and one is MSI. So, if it's worth an extra $440 to you, yeah, I mean, there's really no difference. So, why would you get it? Um, actually, the Omen looks like it has better speakers and better sound system. So, yeah, this one, I wouldn't buy it. I don't know why anybody would. Um, here's that infamous... A gaming desktop that everybody talks about. Of course, you know, they've taken all the drives out, they take the video card out, they take the uh, memory out. 
You're working i7-8700 and that's the cooler to use. A little pancake cooler. That will thermal throttle like in the first 30 seconds of any video game. Um, that's ridiculous. Well, they did leave the hard drive in up here. Okay. Well, that's a quick overview of the laptops and the one desk. Well, they have that desktop. There's a couple of desktops over here. So here we go, 8th gen i3, 16 gig Optane, 4 gigs of RAM and a 1 terabyte drive for 449 That's, you know, that's a basic deal. We have computers in our store that would basically be about the same speed for, you know, probably about $350. So this really isn't that bad of a deal. Um, Celeron for 900 Yeah, no, that's not a good deal. 500 gig hard drive that's all that's not the right label that's not supposed to go here okay that one's 299 I see that's the 299 one okay so and it's a little underpowered if you're gonna go you can definitely save money and get something much more powerful secondhand and here's an all-in-one um, we have so that's four hundred dollars we basically we have some um, i3 ones in stock right now um, they're i3, other than that, they're basically the same, except ours also has more RAM, um, and we're selling them for 250 So, you know, of course, new versus used. If it's worth, you, it's, if it's worth, you know, if it's worth your while to get a brand new one, go for it. So, this is, you know, a day in the life walking around Walmart, video blog number two today. Um, we'll see how high we can go. So those are the computers at Walmart. Um, basically they had some good ones. I do know those HP desktops are very low end. Um, if you're, It's very, very interesting because if you open one of them, they don't actually have a power supply for the most part. Um, they just basically use a laptop charger and it's very weird. Um, there's very little you could do to service or upgrade those computers. Um, it's really kind of sad, that big gaming computer, how much they charge for that and how low in the specs are. For that amount of money, you should be able to get a much, much better computer. After watching the video, I noticed that I was a little bit wrong on that stream laptop. It doesn't have a hard drive, but it does have a 32 gig SSD. So for very limited usage, that might be viable. You got to remember on a 32 gig SSD, your operating system is already taken up over 20 gigs. You throw Office on there and you're at like 25 gigs and you're pretty much done. So as long as you understand that, it doesn't even have, I mean, my phone has four times that amount of storage. So good luck. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review of the computers at Walmart. I would assume that the Walmart computers here in uh, Peoria, Arizona are probably pretty similar to the ones throughout the country um, for, you know, the third week of April. Um, of course, a few weeks from now, they'll probably be phasing them out and getting new ones in. They're always doing that. But usually they're pretty uniform nationwide for at least that couple week period. Uh, I was surprised they did have a, a few that I thought were really, really good deals. Uh, for instance, that Lenovo I thought was a pretty good deal. I did not think that any of their desktops, though, were a good deal. Um, you know, you could buy something from me that I could build way better. But, of course, I'm, I'm here in Peoria. If you're somewhere else in the country, you, you know, you could get a much better deal at Costco, um, Amazon, of course. Um, so there's definitely other options you can have. So thanks for watching, so like, subscribe, as everybody else says. Um, I'm going to be making more of these videos and would love to have you watch them. Thanks.